Did you ever play Shadow the Hedgehog? No, I watched the entire playthrough. I love of it. that one. Oh god, that I, one I is just so love that dumb. The, I love that the president just has a picture of Sonic and Shadow <laughs> with no apparent context. It just looks like a candid photo, like paparazzi was following them. <laughs> The Sonic looks like he's like, yeah, take my picture. Shadow's like, like oh, fuck yeah. off. And then Shadow's just like, uh. But, it, I mean, it, why did they have to give him a gun? Like, what a terrible decision. <laughs> like, we have to make him so edgy. You can sum that whole game up with that bit in the, uh, the intro cinematic where he's, like, loading the clip into the gun and he walks up and there's just a shot of him holding a gun. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> I mean, were, were they, like, they must have done some kind of market research just saying that, like, we've we've done some studies finding that this game will mostly appeal to kids that really thought that Columbine was very underplayed in the media, <laughs> but are also huge gun advocates. So... Well, apparently that's, that, that's the reason uh, they had Gamma and Tails have guns in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. They weird. apparently got loads of... Me- yeah, they got loads of like letters from kids saying, please give Sonic a gun. And they thought, I don't think Sonic should have a gun. We can no. give other characters guns. No, And I will say this, and I will take this to my grave. I think that Gamma is one of the better characters in that game. Just because like, he's just a robot. But like, I, there's something like fun about him, and I also like his. He's got an actual too. arc. Yeah, he has an actual story arc. It plays off. Like you understand what his motivation is, and it's not like the story is... isn't just whoa, let's go over there. Yeah, exactly. It's like the antithesis of that is Big the Cat, and it's like yes, both. <laughs> well, so here's the thing: the both two ends of the is... spectrum. You got the big and the gamma. End. Well, I mean, one's efficient, the other one's an idiot. I've got a lot to say about Shadow of the Hedgehog because Shadow of the Hedgehog is such a weird game. There's a mission where you've got to assassinate the president. Oh my god. Yeah, you've got to follow around this little, like, escape car, and you've just got to shoot it down. And I mean, it's like, how did they get away with this? Who thought this would be a good idea? Like, it was, oh my god. Like, why would they think that that would be a good idea? Like, just, I, I mean, like, doing that with Shadow the Hedgehog, like, that's just stupid. It, it, I mean, it's just like, I think that they're trying to add way too much conflict into Shadow's story. Like, can't he just be, like, this like gross abomination of a genetically engineered thing and then just have that be his motivation like he hates that he exists because they killed maria or something like maria maria you know the story of maria is that she has aids did she has aids that's why they kept her up there is that canonically true that she has aids or did you read that from did you read that from encyclopedia dramatica no, it, it, it's called Nades in in the Sonic universe, but it is basically Aids. God damn it! Why? Oh, okay. Well, actually, she probably got it from like a blood transfusion thing or something. Like that's how they. I mean, I I, I, I was gonna something. say that. I did presume she was born with it. I didn't presume she's like a mad whore or something. Well, uh, yeah, it, it would be like. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not gonna pretend to know anything about Aids statistics. I'm gonna back away from this point real quick. 